Hi, I'm Dave from Locomotion Models. Welcome to the Monday Club. It's Monday, it's 7 p.m. and the Bronx are on parade. It's time for the Monday Club featuring your host, Jennifer. And your host with the Toast Top Tea Toaster and a wizard called Gandalf. Featuring the sounds of the Glass Await Symphony Orchestra and the musical stylings of Gordon the Music Maestro. Let's get ready to loco! Ho, ho, ho! I pressed the wrong button. Piggly Wiggly Wiggly. Pig and shall we shall we go and Piggly Wiggly? We piggly, like Piggly Wiggly. wiggly. Piggly, wiggly. Piggly, wiggly. piggly Wiggly Piggly Wiggly Piggly Wiggly. Shall I press the button for the sponsor? Yeah. <laughs> the Monday Club is proudly sponsored by TMC, the Model Centre. Check them out at themodelcentre.com. The website features extensive stocks of new models as well as selective pre-owned items where you can track down that bargain you've always wanted. Pre-order with confidence all of the forthcoming models from all the manufacturers. TMC also offer a renumbering and renaming service so you can get the exact identity of locomotive that you want. Why not also check out their value weathering or go for something incredibly special with their bespoke service where you can choose from a more extensive weathered look right through to custom graffiti either off the peg or to a design of your choice. Check out TMC today at themodelcentre.com and start your model journey. Piggly Wiggly, Piggly Wiggly. We do piggly love wiggly. We do love our Piggly Wiggly. And a huge thank you to Alan Downey, who's very kindly donated five pounds on the Super Chat, who says, Hi Jenny, thank you for answering my question earlier. You're absolutely welcome, and it's always great to hear from you. Uh, tickle a like. Yeah, oh, we, yes, of course. I have to like the tickles. Yes, yes. So we've got we've got lots of people in, and um, Piggly Wiggly is up and running. You can see the small people are in there shopping, probably getting a bit disappointed because the walls are made of printed paper. Who's that? Where's my beans, man? <laughs> I can't get, I can't get Where's it. Where's my beans? <laughs> hey, I can see it, but I can't touch it. Yeah, so let's have a more conventional scene. Oh, do we have to? Yes, we do. <laughs> so a big hello if you to go Santa. Up to the loft today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go up to the loft today, you'll never believe your eyes. For every train there ever was has gathered there together because today's the day that Jenny does the Monday Club. Okay. Yay! Thank you. So now we've got that out of the way. A big hello to Mike at Puddham Junction, Dave Holloway, Robert Becking, Farmer Channel 1, Patrick Ling, Wyvern Model Railway, DJK 666, Awesome Bricks, The Ground, The Blackwood Engage Layout, Peter Jackson, Chittle Heath, Kevin McKay, 85, Jennifer Horton, Delft Junction, Wham Got, Rick Morley, Don Gets Model Railway. Says, are we missing a G? Yeah. On some, the Piggly Wiggly, yes. For some reason, um, the first G on Piggly and the first G on Wiggly don't light up. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Ben says TARDIS! Actually, I don't because it's an acronym. You may or may not be shouting. I don't know. TARDIS! Stefan Svensson, big hello. Harry Cedric, David Scott, Lemmington Station, Jerry BVR, Ham Shackleton, CP Model Railway, Richard Swiderski, Wyvern Model Railway. There's TARDIS behind the shed in front of yeah, It's not what TARDIS has been spotted already. What did you oh, expect? It is fairly obvious there, it must be said. Well, uh, uh, I don't know where the other one... Oh, I do know where the other one is. So it's great to see you all. Hope to find you well. Model Rail Scotland was over the weekend. So My I know goodness, a lot of you guys were there. Big hello to Torrent uh, Quadruple Six. Great to see you. I hope you are well. Midland Train Spotter says, I invested in a drone to help with train spotting videos. Yeah, there's some great drone videos out there. I mean, it's that's probably... Um, drone cameras and um, little tiny cube cameras are probably the two biggest development in video production. Uh, yes. Cymru Rails, big hello to you, great to see you. Um, Jock and Bauer, Nebothwen, 
156 Andrew Shortbread Express has very kindly donated two pounds on the super oh, chat. Thank you thank so much. You. It says, do you like my new YouTube and happy Monday, everybody? Oh, you're twisting my melon, man. Thank you so much. I twisted a melon um, once. Alan get Pollard, else done great that day. to see you. Paul Murphy. Ben says, should get some <clears throat> Daleks for the layer. Um, they're difficult to get the exact scale legitimately. Um, obviously, because they're copyrighted, uh, te the uh, state of Terry Nation, um, it, it's very difficult to find a producer producing them. And when you do, if they're licensed, they tend to be quite expensive because there's a license fee. Um, uh, big hello to J94. Jacob's train says the Western's going a bit quick. It keeps speeding up and slowing down. Oh and my goodness. I, I actually, I do know why. It's because of the um, the brand of decoder that's in it. It's one of those horrible, cheap and nasty ones. And it doesn't seem to do back EMF very well. Yeah. If I slow it down, unfortunately at the back there, it just stalls out. Um, thank you so much. I'm oh, sorry. I'm just missed the... I, I will roll it. So, Damien Leverton has very kindly... Uh, donated six dollars ninety nine Canadian. Thank you Thank so you much so there much. on the super chat. So it's looking forward to lots of positivity. Some help for the biscuit from. Thank you so much. That is incredibly generous of you. So let's just trot down to Piggly Wiggly and get those biscuits in. Beep beep. So Piggly there Wiggly. we go. Down at Piggly Wiggly's doing the biscuit shop. Oh yes. Topsy is getting very excited by this. So, uh, anyway, change the camera angle, because there's only so much Piggly Wiggly you can have in one in one show. Um, right, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Cameron Patterson says, good evening to you all from Glasgow. And um, good evening to you, Mr. Flymo and Mr. Hamshack and Peter J and Charlie at Paddock Hill and Wham Gok and Patrick L and Rick and everybody else. Um, so, uh, DJ K666 says, there is an ex-television Dalek in a shop in Coventry. Um, yeah, they, they do get around, actually. Um, but what's in the news? Well, of course, Model Rail Scotland was on over the weekend. Um, and that made for a very busy weekend for a lot of people. I wasn't able to go, but I believe that um, it was a great show. And there was lots of uh, new things on show. Now, Acura Scale, uh, the Banana Wagons uh, do appear to be appearing. Uh, I know that TMC, the model centre, put out the post. Their exclusive banana van packs are now in stock. Um, so they look quite interesting. Um, but I think that suggests that, that the main regular versions of the Acura scale banana vans are out there. I suspect they're going to sell very, very quickly. The thing about the banana wagons is they've got a very broad appeal. for They're, they're kind of in the sweet spot for 50s and 60s steam. So I suspect that they're going to sell really, really well. At Model Rail uh, Scotland, we also saw Rapido trains were very busy showing off uh, samples of stuff. And we had livery samples of the um, Highland Goods uh, locomotive doing the rounds. In fact, there was a running one. I've seen video of it being run on some of the layouts. It looks amazing. Those Highland Railway liveries do look incredible. So, so fingers crossed to get sent one for review because that really does look amazing. Now, um, Hellion were also there. I think they've been sponsoring. Can I have a charger, please? A charger. Um, I'm not sure that this one actually works. Um, In that case, I'll pop downstairs. Well, 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 I've got to go and pick something up can, anyway. No, we can test it. I want you to test it. I've got 1% battery. I don't have time to test. Well, I want to see if it. Actually... Oh my goodness, Jenny! Just, just do it. You're a burger, you, you are. Do it. You're an absolute oh. burger. Um, Alan Pollock says it was great to see repeat, rapid, rapid. I think it's, I mean, um, I think autocorrect has uh, boned you there. The rapid trains. I think it means rapido trains. Fireless locomotive, and the John. I, I was John's really impressed jo with that. Yeah. Oh my word, thank you so much. Two pounds has been donated. It doesn't say who from. I, uh, that's strange. Um, how on earth have you done that? I'm not sure how you've managed that, but thank you so much to the generous individual who's donated two pounds on the super chat. And, 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 and maybe you can donate anonymously. Um, no, he's just deleted his name off the channel. <laughs> so now that's interesting. 
I didn't know you could do that. So the unknown train fan. Yes. There you go. You've got a name. The now. unknown train fan. And it's like Thank ma- you. maybe that will be like. <laughs> Um, Damien Leviton says, saw the first Hornby HST in TT120 is available today on the website. Um, yeah, uh, that's the other bit of the news. Hornby TT120, the TTA tankers, I believe, are out. But then we've also had the HSTs. Is that actually charging? Is there any sign of it charging? Yeah, it's charging. And I've just uploaded a shot. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. So, um, I said, hi, Jenny, Zoe, please beg Hornby for an 080 Sentinel. They have the mouldings for the other Sentinels. We'd love to see an LMR General Lord Robertson. That's from XXX um, H- H4RR15XXX. Yeah. So he's very you. kindly sent £5 on the city. Gosh, you guys are busy. Um, thank you so much. Oh, my word, Patrick Lynn oh, my has also donated £5 on the Super Chat. and says, thank you so much for great Monday night. Thank you. Uh, Peter Jackson Cheadle, he says, I spy an auto coach. Aha. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. This is the Colonel Model Centre steam rail motor, the GWR one. It's, it's actually been the most... Uh, oh, Peachy TT120 says, Jenny, you must be joking. Um, what was that about? Uh, not the HST. Uh, the H- I, I was told. I think you said the HSTs were uh, coming out. The um, TT one twenty HSTs are on their way. Maybe beep, it's beep. the TTA tanks. Um, maybe they're not out. <laughs> um, where was I? I, I Leslie I, Gilpin says, Adam, how come I didn't bump into you, or vice versa? I know why, because you were both looking where you were going. Oh, That's yeah. usually how you make, make sure that you don't bump into people. Isn't that right, Topsy? Yeah, and Raymond Legg says, The hobby is so dead that model train stores are always out of stock when it comes to <laughs> Pico and Kato. Yeah, and that's the thing. Um, Peter Jackson Chill here says, I saw a GWR set on the Hornby I stand. The and Wangok <laughs> says, Hornby HM7000 DCC dongle arriving tomorrow. Nice. Now, um, we do have some news with regard to HM7000 profiles. Yes, um, they're coming thick and fast at the moment. We've just had four um, go out live, including the Class 20 um, and the King Class. Well, there's four more on the beta test server, and these include the Class 423 for VEP, um, which should be actually also good. For anybody who's got deep breath, class 401, class 402, 403, 410, 411, 416, 419, um, as well as the 423. So there's a whole bunch of um, electric, uh, third rail electric multiple units, which there is a sound profile coming on the extremely versatile and cost effective. Oh, right, Peachy TT120 says, 20 posts by me about the HSTs and you read Damien's. I'm getting my coat. No, no, it's just that I did see your comment, I but we you weren't on it. air at the time. And um, then when I got my mind got jogged up. Yes, Peachy TT120 was the first to say that the HSTs are coming. And that is why Peachy TT120, as the username might imply, it's very exciting. Uh, 3B okay, rail. Are you suggesting he's PGP? Uh, no, the TT120 moniker. 3B oh. rail, so good evening all. I hope everyone is well. Absolutely. That Great sounds like he's late. Gandalf. Gandalf. A Monday clubber is never late to do wagons. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Thanks, Gandalf. Thanks, Gandalf. There we are. We've ah, got, there's a lion. We've got white chocolate lions and... Um, I have complaints that Billy's replacement speakers had not featured in a little while. So we've got the mug. There is a link down below where you can get your own Billy's replacement speakers Jenny, mug. do we have some news <coughs> about Billy? Yes, we do. If you've been keeping up on the Book of Face, you will have seen that the Monday Club wagon is on its way that's right um we've just been sent photos of the livery sample and um, i think it's actually a production sample 
um, and it looks amazing. So if you're not on Facebook, then it, 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 that's where it is. We will try and dig it out and share it in a bit. Uh, but um, they're on the high seas. They're on their way. They've probably taken a little bit of a detour around the Cape for reasons. Yeah. And Hezbollah's well, uh, not nicking all of our speakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who sees? Who's, anyway, no, we don't do politics. So, anyway, that's... Oh, my, oh my word, goodness. Evan Terry has very kindly donated £1.20 on you. the Super Duper Chat. Thank you so much for your generosity. That is really, really kind of you. Um, so, uh, Ham Shackleton shared the link to the Facebook group, I think. Um, Roger Wollstenholme says, hi, everybody. Thanks, Gandalf. Oh, we've got a new Jenny Kirk member. The unnamed the train fan. Marcus unnamed Muggins, he said his name train was. Fan. Who? Sorry, what? Marcus Muggins. Marcus Muggins. <laughs> um, so now we know. He has named himself. Aha. So tonight's build, uh, in a regular build, is uh, mm. the Daypole Kitmaster VR Railbus. Ooh. Pick this up. I'm pretty sure this was from our KJ Models and Shaw. £8.60. Mm. But here's the, th here's the rub. Normally... When you get these uh, these uh, kits for various locomotives, they come with plastic wheels. Not me. Not this one. Daypole has put in actual metal wheels. This could run on the track. So I'm looking forward mm. to putting this one together. Mm -hmm. So Jenny, if you would be so kind mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. to beatbox when it ain't like it ain't no thing. <laughs> Grunk it up. Well, if you'll be so kind, would you pass me the uh, snippy snips? The snippy snips. Okay. Um, are we going to share the um, actual? Um, I'm going to get you the knife as well. So you can... mm. uh, Oh my it? goodness, Scanman! Thank you oh. so much. Thank you, Scanman. Thank you so much for your generosity. Um, Scanman has donated ten US dollars on the super chat. Says greetings from Montana. America's spy balloon identification capital. Absolutely. <laughs> or should we or should we say the Chinese weather balloon? <laughs> mm. Yes. <laughs> so there you are. There's your thingy. So we're trying to find the Monday Club wagon picture. Really? I'm trying to eat a lion bar as why well. I, but why am I trying? I've succeeded. I know where it is. Well, just do your special thing. No, I think it's gone st and no. stopped. Yeah, now I can't read the chat. Oh, you've broken it. I didn't break it. You broke it. I'll have a slice of toast. Um, oh, my word. Simon oh Trey from Mother Railway Showcase has very kindly donated £5. Oh, thank you so much for your generosity. Um, you. It says, uh, what did you think of the Rapido Trains 01 sample model? Also enjoying the Monday Club. Thanks, Jenny. So, yes. The old one, there was a 3D printed version of it, certainly one in grey. I think it was 3D printed rather than an EP, but that was really, really great to see the pictures of it. People were also going TARDIS spotting uh, out in Glasgow as well. I saw a few photographs shared of tar TARDIS seas, TARDIS, TARDIS seas. Um, Wangok says, hi Everard Junction. I, I didn't see you in the chat, but um, it does go over very, very quickly. So. If you are in, then big hello to you. Great to see you. Um, John Walters says, hello there to you both and all. Sorry, I am late. A Monday club owner is never late to the wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Thanks, Gandalf. So this You're is welcome. the William Loudonson's Gramophone Works uh, wagon. I am so looking forward to seeing this. So, so that nice. looks really nice, actually. It so really this does. is being made for us by Rapido Trains. We commissioned it from them um, about a year, at least, no, more than a year ago, because I remember discussing the livery sample with them, actually, at um, uh, Ali Pali last year. And uh, we already had this livery. I didn't announce it until later on. Oh, sorry, Zantex says it was Evergreen Junction, not Everard Junction. Ah. Oh, right. Sorry. I... <laughs> that makes I more was, sense. I was quite surprised otherwise. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, much more sense. Um, <laughs> Stara Davis says it's got DeLorean white with What are white wall tyres? There's a reason behind that. And um, the reason that they had white on the treads for a lot of these wagons is because... 
before, long before the days of ultrasound testing, long, um, long, it was long very, time, very Michael. difficult to actually ascertain whether a wheel was cracked or not. One of the ways was you get the um, a wheel tappers. They literally have a, um, a big metal mallet and they tap the wheels tap, tap, and you'd get a wheel. ding. But if it had a crack in, it would make a different note and they would know. But also having the white wall tyres, um, if a crack appeared, you wouldn't see the crack so much as you'd see the rust marks in the line of the crack. Yes. Martin Pack Parkinson, thank you so much uh, for joining the channel membership. Welcome aboard. Wow, it's all go here today. AD Pullen says Rapido UK 1907 wagons are fantastic. Absolutely. Um, uh, so really looking forward to this. The uh, inspired by Tipfield Thunderbolt. <laughs> Hello, Simon. <laughs> Inspired. Yeah, you inspiring. Um, um, are definitely out there. So these, I'm told, are, uh, are on the boat um, probably a couple of weeks away. Maybe as close as a week. I don't know. All I've been told is they are on the boat. So um, we do have a link somewhere. I'm just pressing the button. I have to say that because the monkey doesn't pay attention. I pay attention. No, you don't. I do. You sometimes. pay about as much attention as a, a as, as a small yappy dog in a room full of squirrels. <laughs> and nuts. Uh, Richard Swiderski says, "If you hit the wheel and it did not go, uh, it did not go clang. The train has gone." It's like, All right, yeah, you're supposed, <laughs> you're supposed to stop. To stop. Uh, let's make tracks. TT120 says, I'm just shy of 300 subs. Still got a way to go to catch up with Peachy. 300 subs? That's quite a navy, that is. 300 subs is actually nothing to sniff at. Don't, never <laughs> compare yourself to someone else. It's one thing I always got taught in, uh, in gaming terms. Never compare your starting character to a level 40 veteran. Because that's, that's what we're essentially doing with some of our, our channels. Go at your own pace, go your own way, and you'll make it, and you'll be happy. But if you go always looking at someone else and going, well, I'm not there, you'll never be pleased with what you do. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a topic. What's wrong? The bottom. Other charges? Mm-hmm. Oh. Been spotted. Oh, okay. Keep it going whilst I've got my gob full right. of lime you, you put me off there. So tonight we've got a we've got a discussion about what train is best. And mm -hmm. a few people have gone, well, that's a very generic uh, title. Mm -hmm. Why have you gone for that? And the reason is because <laughs> it can be generic, but I think we all have uh, our our personal favourites. For me, it's a class away. I love a Gronk. It's got a it's got a nice look to it. Artistically, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. But is it the best one for a, a newcomer to the to the range, especially not if you're looking at train simulator, because it, it goes about four miles an hour, <laughs> so you never get to where you're going in time. Judge AMC, our guru of sound, has turned up, and that implies some kind of lateness. A Monday club or is never late to the wagons, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Thanks, Gandalf. And Craig Douglas says, a topic. I thought it was a lion bar. <laughs> Hold on, that clown's got a trombone. Oh, you be careful where you point that thing. <laughs> That's Gok, what she said. <laughs> uh, Wamgok says A4. Yeah, uh, I, I love an A4. Uh, my collection may well show that. Uh, Jacob's I would trains. never, looking at your collection, I would never hmm. have thought you liked A4s. Jacob's Trains says Black Fives, 37s and 91s are the best locomotives. Interesting combination there. Yeah, you've got, um, a, you've got a Black Five on review this week. Yes, you? Wednesday's video is the Ellis Clark Trains O-Gage Black Five. Which you will be able to see a brief clip of because I've put a short out on Jenny's channel. Oh yes, but of course people won't be watching that because they will be here watching this. Yes. Also, S nobody watches shorts on your channel. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> SJ Dusty says, got to be a Q1. I, I hear where you're coming to, to actually. The Q1, uh, nicknamed by some the ugly, ugly duckling, is um, actually... A swan? I, no, I, I actually really like it. It's got a peculiar charm to it. 
Um, and it, it's something about it. it. It's just, it's ugly, but it's so different. And the box box wheels really, really do look good in it. And because there's no running plate, you can see them quite well. Um, Knockers Lane says, best logos I have are my never wasers. And Machine New Zealand, or sorry, Machine NZ says, Morning Jenny, Zoe, and any Gronks. <gasps> I'm Gronk late. it up. Gronk it up. Gronk it up. Hashtag not a cult for legal and tax purposes. The Gronk it up cult is not a cult for legal and tax purposes. Your mileage may vary. Yeah, and um, uh, the, the Gandalf moment there as well. A Monday couple is never late to the wagons. Oh. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Kanda. Um, Topsy would like it to be known that they have prepared a slice of toast for this very occasion. <laughs> um, so there we go. Um, John JMC, the guru of sound, says, I like the Q1 too. Yeah, there's something about the Q1s. And it's one of Hornby's really good models from probably more than 20 years ago. But I have to say that even back then it was strict. It was light years ahead of a lot of the others and still holds its own. Jennifer Horton says, not mention the new Wally exhibition. It's I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Again now, mother, but I'm getting thank there. you so much to Chris Johnson, who's very kindly donated five pounds oh, on the Super you. Chat. Thank you so much. To, uh, thank you so much. Do, I do, will. I will do the business. Just really it enjoy is. the Monday Club. Such a refreshing contrast to certain modelling doom mongers out there on YouTube. Mm. Absolutely, and that is what we try to be. Yeah. We are positive. This is the, as Ken Patterson, Sir Ken of Patterson, on the uh, What's Neat This Week uh, posse, would always say this is the greatest hobby in the world. And it really is going from strength to strength. And as has already been mentioned, Wally is back. They've got a new venue, it's a smaller venue. Um, and they're running it in partnership with the, um, I think they're in partnership, correct me if I'm wrong, it may be that um, they're, they're hiring the venue, but it's at the Statfold Barn Railway. Oh. And I think in many ways, this... Oh, that is perfect. Yeah, this is a perfect venue. And I think it's going to be incredibly successful. So Jen, you know, I don't care what, uh, we're going. what happens, we, we are there. We're we going. are going, yes we are. Um... Oh, Dongit's Model Railway says it's on the same weekend as Gets. That won't it? work out. Oh, um, I don't know whether it is. Please um, tell me it's not, please. This is part of the problem, is that the weekends all get booked up, and I suppose, <laughs> because BRM and Warner swooped in and went, oh yeah, we'll do the NEC event. No criticism, but they swooped in, and basically that weekend was suddenly, boom, Wally lost their weekend, which is a shame. Yes. Um... And I suppose that... Oh, Jacob's Trains asks, where do you get the Monday Club wagon from? Is there a link in the description? Uh, there is. There should be. I will copy it as well. Down in the description there's a link, but I'm sure it'll get posted I up. I will copy it uh, into the chat in a moment once mm. I've finished putting this uh, bit yeah. onto here. Yeah, I saw that as well. Ben Tollett says, Jenny, Hornby has a new investor in the form of the owner of Sports Direct. Um, wow. Yeah, I, I did see that. Uh, maybe Does that a... mean that uh, alongside game being part of uh, Sports Direct, we might see some uh, indoor hobbies turning up in their shops? I honestly don't know. I'd like to see it. Mm. I really would like to see Alan that. Alan Downing says, nice to see no Hornby bashing at least once a week. Absolutely. Why, and why would we bash? And this is this is the thing. No, no, I no. Have to... no. What no, he's no, saying no, is me... that we don't. Yeah, but what I want to say is uh, to everyone else, why would you bash a major contributor to the hobby? The, I know that here in the hobby, we, we know all the, the, the companies. But when you say model trains to people out in the street, Hornby's what they think of. Yeah. Why would you bash the name that everyone recognises? Yeah, there's a word. It's clickbait. That's why you've got is that something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, yeah. I, I uh, had dry skin. Uh, and yeah. I, yeah right. and I split it. What have you just <laughs> pressed? I'm looking at uh, the uh, information on our thingamajig, the the details, so oh. I can grab the William and Loudon Sons uh, link. Yeah, so the William Loudon Sons uh, wagon, it's selling really well, and um, even before we posted up this uh, picture, um, they were getting pretty thin on the ground. I think we were down to the last few dozen. 
and um, they are uh, likely to be selling quite quickly now on pre-order because they're very close and we've got that picture so Oh, a uh, Sports Direct wagon. I'd like to see that. Possibly, so, yeah. I've seen Poundland have model trucks. Why shouldn't but Sports Direct But this is going back to stuff? the good old days of the 80s when we used to have things like... Do you remember the Duracell battery tank wagon and the Polo tank wagon? Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, so I, I think fun it's... Fun stuff. PGTT120. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Pure clickbait. And unfortunately, there are, there's a group of um, actually quite big YouTubers, some of them, um, seem to have latched on to this, like, oh, if we bash the hobby, like, doom and gloom, doom and gloom, look at this, what's this crap they're making for? It gets views. And, yeah, the reality is, I guess, that the people viewing them aren't modellers, because we know better, but it's very yeah. damaging to the hobby Incredibly from the outside. Um, so, um, you know, it's... It's a bit leechy, isn't it? It's like, I'll yeah. take your hobby and I will use it and violate it. And when it's done, I'll move on to somebody else's hobby and yeah, violate it for views. Um, Warbler Productions says, glad I've already ordered two Monday Club wagons. Two of them, my goodness. Two wagons, no waiting. One Excellent. for the week, one for Sunday best. Yeah. Um, Russell Benton says, what about the new Revolution 00 320 321? Um, oh, the dusty bin. Somebody's making a, a dusty bit, you know, the three two, the class three two. I know one. what a three two one is. Um, so yeah, I think that'll go down really well. I don't know what a three two one is. I just wanted her to stop saying dusty Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be really, really popular. I know it's quite a much requested a um, uh, 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 prototype. But in terms of your favourites, I mean, certainly. Sometimes the newer models do get the bigger look in, I suppose, because they've got the headlines. It's the, ooh, shiny and new. Um, but I think there's a lot of people, there's, there's always going to be a certain locomotive or class of locomotive that you keep coming back to. And that's part of the joy of model railways, that you can have, have a model that you just, it always brings that warm glow of happiness and um, I guess for me, there's for me there's lots because I'm greedy. A fours and Gronks definitely. For but me, I, it's that little engage either uh, Gronk. I love it. Either the engine. Yeah, he's cool. Um, but um, it rocks. Yeah, I I love class O eight shunters, the Gronks. Um, something about them, a peculiar jaunty charm. Um, but I also like I like A fours, but I also have a secret love of class twenty fives. Not that secret. You keep telling people. <laughs> but you know, in terms of a locomotive, I keep going back to little puggy poos, Lancashire and Yorkshire pugs. Um, that's a secret love of mine. Not that secret because I did tell everybody. But I have got loads and loads of them. Russell Benton says my favourite is the nine F. Absolutely, another popular model. It's been in various ranges since um, Triang Hornby in the 1970s. So obviously it's gone through a lot of new tooling since then. Most recently, we've had the all-new tooled Backman and the completely brand new Hornby models as well. So there's a lot of choice out there. Mike Lane, TT120GB, says in OO Gage, I love the P2. That's an unusual choice, I'll give you that. Um, certainly, Mikado is a very unusual wheel arrangement uh, here in the UK. Although I quite like the 72XX um, tanks, the Mikado tanks that the GWR uh, had. A number of them actually survived to preservation, thanks to Barry Scrapyard. Um, and they really were quite a behemoth. Uh, I love that word, behemoth. I'm going to throw that in there. Andy Stewart says, Class 24 for me, the Ugly Duckling. Um, I tend to lump 24s and 25s together. Um, I know what you mean, the 24s with the skinhead cabs, I do really like those. The ones with the head code box, they just look like 25 O's. Um, but the 24s uh, with the skinhead cab front, um, yeah, there's something really nice about them. And I'm, I'm actually um, quite interested to see both Backman and Acura Scale with their 31s on the horizon. Um, skinhead ones are those. I suspect that actually that might be a model which um, I'll take, take to my heart. Um, 
Wangok says Prince of Wales is fabulous. Is that the new build, P2? Um, yes, Tim Patton, class 13, 208s for the price of one. You know what? I like that one that's just down there. Which that, one? The white top with the black... Um, oh, the GW. Let me get it up on the uh, on the camera. Yeah. Uh, so you want to press... I am press working on it now. So, um, actually, no, even better. Um, I will give give people a blast of this. This is the... Hold on. Don't press the button. Until... I haven't. Okay. So um, I'm just going to move the um, uh, the Metrovic out of the way. That this is a nice looking model. This is the model. Kernow Model Center GWR rail car. This is number 93 in its preservation era livery. Uh, this actually recently was loaned to the channel on review. Bit upset. I've got to give it back. Um, but it's all right. You, know, you, you don't expect to keep these things. No, but it not. really is nice. So... It's actually here so that I can take the decoder out that was put in for um, running it for review, put the blanking plate back in, and then um, box it up ready to go back to Kernow Model Center. They're selling incredibly well, actually. A few of the versions of this are already sold out. So if this is definitely a must-have item for you, you need to get your skates on. Oh, oh, the rail, I don't know, you can't really see it very well with this camera, but it's got the motor bogey on one end. It's just so quirky and different. So, um, I just pressed the button. There we go, it's come up. Ben says uh, something about LMS Maroon that makes a loco look grand. Have you lost something? Yeah, the what? other side of this. Are you sure it was in there? No, I'm not sure it was in there. That's the problem. Oh, um, yeah, the well, other, you haven't moved, so if the it's other side of the frame. floor, no, no, just the wheels in there. Yeah. Um, ah. Huh. Huh. I was really interested in making this today. And, so, um, um, what piece of spring? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh found uh, it. So this I stinks. Knew, this is terrible. I knew oh, there it, it would is. be here. I just <laughs> couldn't find it. <laughs> uh, Mike Lane TT120 GB asks Jenny, do you only get the A4s in BR livery? Um, in the main, yes. Now, I do have Kingfisher both in BR livery but also uh, LNER Garter Blue. So I do have one in the uh, in a, an LNER livery. Um, I do quite like um, uh, Les, he of the... Um, come on, not now, Les. I know you've mentioned your name. You're just like, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, you're not allowed out. Get in. Um, Les, uh, a.k.a. Not Lobia, um, has so, uh, a couple of the um, the silver ones. And they do look really, really nice. I think he's got um, Silver Link and... Um, might be Silver King or... No, oh, Quicksilver. Could be Quicksilver. Um, but certainly so they look really, really nice. But you've got to kind of focus your collection. As you can probably tell, um, you don't. I've got quite a lot of stuff. I'm a bit of a hoarder. And if I went for just anything, then very quickly I'd be even more overrun. So I try and focus myself by arbitrarily picking a condition. And for me with the A4s, I really like the BR livery. Um, so I've gone for those. The Adventures of Cliff and James says, Hey Jenny and Zoe. Sorry, I'm late. Gandalf. A Monday club or is <laughs> never late, Dodo Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Do you not have to put the wheels in before you um, stick those? Because otherwise, how no, are you going to get... I'm supposed to stick the, stick the wheels in as I'm putting these on. Oh, right. Jennifer Horton says, the valve gear on the GWR steam rail cars was identical to the GWR Rydal 262 tanks. Bit of trivia. Oh, I didn't know that. We like a bit of trivia, don't we? Mm. Oh, yes. Um, Simon Train's Model Railway Showcase says, did anyone see that N-gauge layout in a suitcase at Model Rail Scotland? Hey, there was um, somebody... I saw one in a toilet. Yeah, um, Jennifer Horton posted a picture from... It was not Glasgow, it was a different show. And there was um, um, the the um, fully running um, model in in the pan of a toilet. Yeah, it was, it was a, obviously a stunt toilet. It it's wasn't... like bottoms down or something. Something like yeah. that. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, Vic Freak. Silver for all four of the silver ones were painted in silver livery. Silver Link, Silver Fox, Quicksilver, and Silver King. Um, and they were the only ones that got the silver livery. All the others um, had, um, I think, were Garter Blue. Although later on, Doncaster Green, some of them got Wartime Austerity Black. Um, but I think they all largely went into Garter Blue after the war. Um, and it is possible, um, I have seen pictures of A4s in LNER Garter Blue, but with their BR number and British Railways spelt out in full on their um, the tender sides. Um, Hornby did release Lord Farringdon in that livery as part of a set, but it was the older tooling, the awful toy-like older tooling, so it's not one for me. But certainly, if they uh, were to bring, in, bring it out again in a decent version, um, then that would be lovely. Ridge Knoll says, good evening, folks. Sorry, I'm a little late. The Monday Club is never late, total wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they need to. Thanks, Gandalf. You're Zantex welcome. says, uh, bottom hole was the layout. That was it. And Jennifer Horton says it was the chapel on Le Frith, um, uh, a show. Now, there is a show coming up this weekend, and this is the this. Keithley MRC. And you will find myself, Iron Horse Railways, we will be there mooching around. So it's well worth coming just to say hello to us, because it doesn't look like I'm going to get to Ali Pali this year, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, we've got to um, save up, because we've got a bit of uh, yeah. a special filming project coming up. We do have a special expensive filming project coming up, but... Um, um, we will be at, I'll say we, the Monkey of Madness is staying at home, staying in bed and all that. But um, Keithley um, Model Rail Club, their annual exhibition is on, I believe it's this weekend. And I'm just going to try and find, I did post it in the um, Facebook group. So come on, phone, do what I tell you to. Why mm. would it do what, the tell, what you tell it to? Mm. It's not fun if it does what it's supposed to. It's fun when it does things else times. Yeah. I just made up else times. I don't know what it means. No, I don't want to make a post. Blooming <laughs> stupid thing. Jenny's so no, good with technology. I don't, I don't want I don't want blooming reels. Why would I want to watch garbage? You've um, got to love Jenny, haven't you? Because she's so easy to get I'm on with the technology. It's, it's amazing. She just oh, takes to it like a... Oh, it's gone it. She takes to it like a duck to water. <laughs> No, oh, all right. Um, talk to the nice people. I am. Whilst so, uh, as I said earlier, I am trying to build the um, VR rail bus. So I'm going to turn the rostrum camera on. Beep beep. So there's the Piggly Wiggly. Piggly this Wiggly. This is the VR rail bus I'm trying to build. It's Here an interesting are. looking thing. And this is what I've got so far. Right now, um, can I just say, right, I've got the details. Keith Lee Model Rail Club. Um, there's going to be loads of um, uh, layouts, got 20, more than 20 layouts on display, along with vintage vehicles, modelling displays, trade stalls, and there's also an amazing cafe at the venue. It's being held at Woodbank Nurseries, Harden, that's near Bingley, which is just sort of south-east uh, of uh, Keithley. So a uh, really easy location to get to, great parking, and myself and Iron Horse Railways will be there, but also John... Excuse me, JMC, our guru of sound, has uh, got some layouts there as well. Oh, very so nice. So don't forget I that. always like John's uh, layouts. They look great. They do, they do. So it's the 2024 Keithley Model Rail Club exhibition, and uh, that's coming up. I think it's this weekend uh, on the... Um, where's the... Uh, oh, give me the dates. Mm. Um... March the 2nd and 3rd, uh, opening Saturday 10am to 5pm, Sunday 10am to 4.30pm. Tickets are, adults are £10, children are £5, and families are 20 squids. And I, I suspect, but don't quote me on this, a family ticket is two adults, two children. Um, they've also got a free exhibition shuttle bus uh, that you can use to get to and from the venue. I suspect that's going from Keithley Town. Center. So it's very easy to get there. 
absolutely. So we're um, really looking forward to that. It's probably going to be the biggest exhibition I get to this year. It's one of those um, situations. Alan's because out. We, we've got to we've got to make sure we have the time and the resources to mm. do what we need to. Second and third, John James, our guru, is saying, "Yeah, it'd be nice to see you there as well." Um, Worthington Model Railway says, "I just got the Maynard's nodding donkey. I'll send a video. Oh, looking nice. forward to it. They're the 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 oil pumps that just I sort like of them. teeter seesaw." Yeah. Um, evening to Skipsy Trains, who I believe has joined us a well, degree of that. lateness in time. The Monday club is never late to the wagons, nor are they earlier. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Peachy TT120 says, got a fly, 99 pyjama, pyjama. Yeah, it is a school night. It is, so but thank do- you very much for coming along. Mm. We'll see you later on. Um, 156 Andrew Shortbread Express says, I'll be down in North Yorkshire on the 2nd of March. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Let's Make Tracks TT120 says, I'm taking my layout for the Spa Valley Railway this September to exhibit. Nice. Um, and John JMC, our guru of sound, says, I have some big news! For you this weekend is that Sorry, sponsored, that by... sponsored by billy's replacement speakers billy's replacement speakers what big and news don't you forget... got well it's, it's secret until then come on oh, well, yeah. wind your motor <laughs> mouth back in um <laughs> uh leslie gilpin railway says there were bargains though at uh, glasgow got a loco for 50 and two others for 75 each and all look like unsold unused stock that's it. The bargains are still out there. And I'm going to be doing another bargain crawl. Uh, I'll probably film it this week. Um, I saw to... you had your net and your uh, yeah. exploring hat out, so you've gone on a bargain hunt. Yeah, it was a deer stalker and a big blunderbuss looking like Elmer Fudd. Hey, bargain, bargain, bargain. <laughs> so um, something we did, we did really, <laughs> yeah, really well. <laughs> uh, I need to do another one. Although I've just filmed uh, a Progress on the Garden Railway video. But as you guys are not binge watching the last one as much as you should have, um, then I might delay that for uh, a week in favour of the Bargains video. Well, if you um, do, you do. But we're back in the situation. We seem to oscillate between... Scrabbling around for content and having far too much content. Yeah. <laughs> We're currently in a far too much content. Um, so at the moment, just going round, you'll see occasionally hoving into view a Backman Class 90 in Freightliner livery. I think it's lightly weathered. Oh, the box is down here. So this is... It um, looked amazing mm, when I saw it. Yeah, this is um, 32-620 Class 90. 90048 Freightliner Grey lightly weathered. And um, these are in the sale at the moment at TMC, the model centre. Wait, that's a sale item. It is a sale item. My goodness. Yeah, so that is doing the rounds uh, for you to look at. I will be filming a review on that and it will be going out probably next week's Wednesday video. Uh, really looking forward to that. It's a superb model. I only just put it on the track today. Um, um, Air Knight says, managed to pick up a D11 in the Great Central up in Glasgow for well under £100. What well, in the Great... Well, Butler Henderson, is it? Or, or was it um, Mon something or other? Um, that's actually a really good price. That's a lovely model. Yeah. Um, and yeah, um, Ben Tollett says, I watched the Garden Railway one. There's been more than one. Uh, I think it needs a water feature and some buildings now. We are We're considering there. that. Yes, I did build the TARDIS. There is a TARDIS going out there, so you will be able to TARDIS spot with that TARDIS. That is O-Gage, um, yep. so that will be going out there. But yet, the bargains are still out there. Um, whenever you see a um, person posting with their clickbaity, Oh, is this the end of the hobby? Then just tell them... Tell them I sent you that you sell. Hey, look, there's bargains out there. There's plenty of new models. This hobby is going places. And if you want to bash it, then you can go over there into your soundproof booth and fill it with water and peer through the glass like some Wally who listened to what I said. And there you go. I, <laughs> I, Are you I, finished with your weirdness? I, I I don't know where that came from. No, nor, neither do nor I. Where that it was, was going. That was odd. Yeah. Um, why, he, why are they in the fishbowl? Yeah, uh, Air Knight confirms, yeah, it was Mons. That is actually a sub £100 
that is a great price. You got a, you you got yourself a bargain there, my friend. Yeah. Um, ben Tullet says uh, I meant to watch all included. Oh right, all including the last one. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be looking for at the uh, Keithley Model Rail Club's annual exhibition is O-gauge buildings suitable for going out in the garden. You obviously can't use card, can't use uh, laser cut wood or anything like that. Because no, it'll just deform. Because it'll just, it'll just melt away in the rain. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, Clark Railworks, Ellis Clark Trains will be at the Keithley show. And um, it would be great to rummage those bargains. And one of the things I'm going to be looking for is suitable for the garden O-gauge buildings. Um, so I do have plans. Um, I want to build a couple of stations, actually. Um, and I've got plans how I'm going to do that. Um, so there's going to be one at the front, one at the back. There's going to be like little branch line type holes. The Oldsmead project says, "What have I missed? I just sent fifty, and uh, I think I spent fifteen minutes stuck between the landing and the roof." <coughs> what? Yes. What? What, what have you it been says, doing? Um, it says, "Yes, Ingot in the hatch." I think that that uh, auto oh correct is, as Bernie said, "Yes, I got stuck in the hatch." Ooh, Dude, are you okay? Uh, yeah, you're right. That's like I think maybe time to age back on the pies. I, I used back on pies once, didn't get much else done with mm. it. Um, ben Tullet says, I also enjoyed the upgrading of the old Hornby 00 model to DCC. You can convert, if you can convert one of those, you can convert Trying and other older models. Absolutely. Um, and Flymo Chairman 1 says, One stall was selling mainline locos for 45 quid across the range. Oh it was so tempting. This would be in uh, uh, Model Rail Scotland. And jo uh, Johan Swanepoel says, Hear, hear, Jenny. Long live model railways. Long live model railways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smash the system. Stick it. Stick it to the clickbaiters. <laughs> Smash the system, not the railway. Not yeah, the yeah. railway. Route Seven Railway says, "Did the Glasgow show on Friday? Of course, it's a three-day show." Um, That's a hell of a size show. Yeah, I've done it in the past. Um, Air Knights has also got some Backman Mark One suburban coaches for fourteen quid each, and a few open wagons. You were making out like a bandit there. That you did, you did good, my son. You did good there. Um, but yeah, it just shows there's some great bargains to be had, and people looking at the new release prices and going, "Oh, the hobby's going to be dead." Because <laughs> look, Backman have put out a locomotive that costs more than three hundred quid. It's like, <clears throat> go and frisk the second hand, there's some good stuff there. There is, uh, all, almost all of my mm. uh, N-Gage stuff is second yeah, hand. Yeah. Um, oh my word, Ailsmead Project says, I have storm damage being quoted oh two weeks bef before the inspection from the insurance company. Hold on, if you've got storm damage, um, I presume it might be leaking. And that, well, that's the thing that always gets me. It's like, come on now, sense of urgency. I've got water coming in here. We ain't, the yeah. water ain't waiting for you to pull your thumb out your bottom. And that's it. Surely there should be a sense of urgency. It's like, there's a big chunk of my roof being blown off. It's like, right, we'll get somebody down there this afternoon. And we'll, at the very least, put some kind of an umbrella through the hole just to keep the rain off. Um, but yeah, it's like that. That must be really hard. I would find that so stressful because every time it rains, you'd be like, and the wind, "Oh no, it's raining!" And yeah. it, it would it would ruin my health. Um, so you have my utmost sympathy. Um, yeah. I, I, oh. Yeah. Um, Flymo Chairman One says a Jouf electric BR buffet car, twelve quid. Yeah, and um, there's some really good stuff. Although J. J. Paul Anderson says both Merklin and Rocco are in big trouble. And I think they'll get through. They've got a big following. They may end up getting sold to somebody else who will turn them around. But um, I, it's been a long time since we lost a manufacturer completely. Um, I mean, the closest we got recently is Hatton's Originals, but they have gone two in the main it looks like a cura scale yeah so it's not complete. so it's, it's not a loss to the hobby of the models i think the last time a manufacturer crashed and burned was dj models for reasons that actually weren't related to the health of the hobby mm. um it was basically the lack of business acumen from the which unfortunately is going to happen every now and again 
Um, but um, all of those models, bar the the class seventy ones, never turned up again, which is a little bit odd. But um, I, it's out there. It's waiting, watching, judging, gronking, gronk it up, gronk it up, gronk it up. Hashtag not a cult for legal and tax purposes. Two four seven trains. Big hello to you. Great to see you. Route seven railway. Uh, it says, hey, Flymo, we need to walk around. But I've had this as well at Worley. I've been to Worley. A lot of my friends have also been at Worley at the same time on the same day, and I've not seen them. It's easy so, to do. Um, yeah, um, some kind of flag. So you got a flag? You carried a balloon around one time at Gats, I remember that. I did, actually. Uh, Sarah Davis, though, says, if you smash the system, how will you flush the toilet? System, not system. system. Yeah. Oh, um, my Larry Rogers says after we took the tornado hit, we had six holes in the roof, and the insurance adjusters just didn't see the need for speed. Not a good thing. I can imagine that that must be so stressful because uh, you'd be looking at the weather report every five minutes, going, "Is it going to rain? Is it going to rain? Yeah, and is it's it like, coming back? Is it coming back?" Well, no, just just rain. I mean, that's the thing. If your roof is leaking. It is horrible. Yeah. The idea that it's like any minute all my prized possessions and stuff could be ruined because somebody in a nice warm insurance company office can't be bothered to deal with... And it, it must make the claim so much bigger. What's that about? There's supposed to be a loss adjuster, not a loss make bigger. Well, to be fair, increasing the, the amount of loss is adjusting it. Yeah, but uh, adjusting it the wrong way. 247 Train says, can you please do more five-inch gauge stuff in the summer? We'll try to. It's just um, a lot of it's time. Um, <laughs> Raymond Legg says, wine for me. Slow wine for me. <laughs> do you want milk on your cornflakes? No, thanks. I love wine. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, that's a Red Dwarf reference. Red Dwarf reference, absolutely. <laughs> but sir, <laughs> Space Corps Directive 3196.8. I don't see the relevance of no officer shall be caught sniffing the uh, saddle of the uh, exercise bike in the women's gym. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah, sorry. Move, um, Are you finished? <laughs> no, no. Hmm. Right, let's change the angle of the dangle, pressing the button. Hint, hint. Button pressed. Um. <laughs> ah. No, no, no. I, I, I give you, I give you a warning. No, the mouse wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, it does that. Sometimes it switches off for a bit. Yes, David Scott. I know, I know. We're on the case. Some while ago, we talked about getting a Monday Club pin badge. We need to to actually do something with there that. There are only so many hours in the day. I will get to yes. it. And Peter Jackson, che Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath says. 326 watching how many likes that means some of you yes you i'm looking at you no not them they hit the like button i'm they looking at you gentlemen. hit the like button share the stream and if you're not already done so subscribe to the channel we are two subscribers short of 23,000 subs come on everybody join the club you know you want to Don Cragen, the underside chassis is now complete for the uh VR rail bus. I am very, very pleased with this. And Don Cragen says, "Good morning from San Jose, California." Do you know the way? Uh, note Jenny. that Gandalf's <laughs> message does not apply. I'm here later than I intended to be. Oh. I'm sorry. You get a Gandalf. A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. And uh, the TARDIS has been spotted. Andrew L says, I feel attacked. Why do you feel attacked? Uh, is it, somebody, somebody's not said something in the chat, have they? Um, 247 Trains says, you should go to Gilly East. It's amazing club. And not, I have been. We have, we have actually uh, uh, filmed there. So it's another recommendation. York Model Engineers, lovely club. And we have open dates every so often. Um, the problem at the moment, I need to get a boiler test certificate on the uh, auto tank. Mm. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that you have to get this every year. It has to be tested every year. And I'm like, I go around to it. So it means that legally it can't be run in public. Yeah. Um, so, it's a safety thing. And yeah. It, and it's absolutely understandable. But we have been to Gilling. 
um, we got a nice ride around there. We did a lot of filming. We actually um, put our uh, camera onto a model, a five-inch oh, gauge so felt um, for a spin round. Really, really great. Yeah. Um, but it was there was a specific day, and they we, we weren't even allowed to put our our wagon on the track for doing some camera work, which I thought was a little bit <laughs> a bit like. I don't think it was um, club officials, but we just had a jobs with it. Oh no, you can't add your own wagon to the train. Everything's mapped out in advance. We've got little cards and everything. So, uh uh, the fun police were in. Nino, um, Nino. <laughs> John James C. of Guru Sounds is my club. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great place actually. It and was. actually, you know, j joking aside, we had, to, we had a great time. We did. Mm. Um, right on track says hi Jenny with the new Wally show clashing with get oh so it does. Have you decided which you are going to attend? Nope. Um, not not we'll, yet, but I mean we'll make a decision close. We'll to make the time. a decision close to the time, but I'm actually thinking that I would quite like to do the Wally show. Yeah. Uh, and John J M C our guru says since my last visit to Gilling, I was running an A force to Nigel Bresley. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Really, really swish. Ben Davis says, Jennifer, your wagon looks amazing. Thank you so much. Don't forget, people. It is only a couple of weeks away. I'm told it is on the boat, has been on the boat for at least a week or more. Uh, and that means that it is it is imminent within the next couple of weeks. Get your pre-order in. Imponent. Because imponent. It, it has actually sold quite well. I can yeah. see it going the same way. The very first Monday Club wagon we did sold out to pre-order. The week before they actually reached the shop, which was quite nice, actually. Yeah, because um, then we didn't have to worry. Yeah, we didn't have to go around going, Will you please buy my wagon? Yeah, um, for, the, for those of you who aren't uh, sure, we are a small business. This yeah. Method, so it's us. <laughs> small, very small. And as a result, we kind of panic sometimes when yeah. things are... Uh, you have to, yeah, because um, not a lot of people know this, but you have to pay for the full production run in advance. Which means that enough money to buy a small family car left my account uh, in order to cover the cost of these, uh, which I don't get back until they're sold. Um, but certainly, it's doing really well, actually. It looks like it may well sell out to pre-order. So if you wait until they're in the shop, um, when I say shop, Rails and Sheffield are doing the distribution on these. Uh, unfortunately, you may find that you miss out. And we do not repeat... Monday Club Commissions. We can't. So, uh, it's yeah, just how it is. Uh, but we're already uh, looking to work on subsequent uh, commissions, but they will be very different. Um, and Dongus Mother Railway reminds us the 2024 Great Electric Train Show will take place on October the 12th and 13th at the Marshall Arena in Milton Keynes, which was incredibly crowded. I mean, they, I mean, all this clickbaity doom and gloom nonsense about the hobby dying. Uh, anybody who went to Great Electric Train Show 2023 will know quite well it got very busy there, so busy, that for the first time ever, and the Gets has been running for a good few years, first time ever, they actually had to stop letting people in on both yeah. the Saturday and the Sunday. The Sunday was shocking. Because the venue reached its maximum yeah. capacity. This never happened Sunday's before. always uh, less... Uh... Uh, uh, less populous mm. and yet shockingly they had mm. to close it they had to close the doors Jacob's train says have you got the next wagon sorted and can you do a coach soon coaches are uh, a lot more expensive co coaches would mean we'd have to save up for a couple of years yeah it's a bit like people say would you do a locomotive I would love to do a locomotive yeah as long but as you're a talking flow, about um a huge step up you're talking 10 times the cost so you go from um putting up front the cost of a small family car to putting up the cost of a fully spec bmw 7 series yeah so which is why i have so much respect for small uh, people who've made on and made good like that ellis is clark. what yeah ellis clark uh Kernel model center as well yeah. with the gwr rail motor let's let's have another look at that from afar Let's do that. I will uh, make sure this works. I don't know what's wrong with these. Oh, they're things. just awkward. Yeah. So this here, I'm going to move it forward so we get a little bit of a better view. That is the Kerno Model Center GWR rail motor, and that's actually in GWR Crimson Lake. 
uh, which is the livery that the GWR had uh, before the more familiar brown and cream style liveries. Um, and it's really great to see that Era 2 suitable models are being produced, although that is number 93 and it's in its preservation livery, a unique survivor. And it's going to be the subject, I think it'll be our Friday review this week. Um, but there's some amazing innovation in it. But they are selling out really, really well. Um, some of the models are now sold out to pre-order. I might pre have a bit of a problem with this. Hot water. Go and put it in the sink with some hot water and gently I'll leave bend it, it into time. shape. I'll leave it for next time. I'll let you do that one. Yeah, or you just you just bully it into shape and hope the glue holds it. Um... It, it, the Aylesmead project says forty five grand may make may get you a model and the rest. Um it's not cheap because you have to basically guarantee to buy the full production run. Yeah, the, um, the companies that make these aren't a charity. No yeah. one gives you a, a locomotive. No. no one gives you a wagon. Contrary to what the everybody's favourite trolls have been trying to claim, nobody bought us the Monday Club wagons out of the goodness of their heart. We no, paid we the proper commercial okay. rates. Yeah. And um, rightly so. No one should be uh, expecting yeah. that. Um, I, I did see a message from Mark Wilson, our waxer of the DeLorean earlier on, saying that um, as the new Wally venue is um, quite close to him, it means he might be able to do both. Um, oh, nice. That and get. Well, you could do one on the Saturday and one on the Sunday, I guess. Yeah. B2000RO Toys Channel says, Hi, Jenny and Zoe. I went to the Doncaster Model Railway Festival the other week and bought a Backman Junior Great Eastern Railway Jack 060 saddle tank. Yeah, um, these are actually based on the Thomas the Tank Engine model, so they got in a bit of trouble because the license precluded them from doing that, which ah. is one of the reasons that they disappeared <laughs> Not really cool. quickly. Um, but um, it was a good attempt to get um, youngsters into the hobby, and they yeah. do form a great basis for um, actually uh, um, putting 3D printed uh, tops on the chassis, so a cheap source of chassis. Zantec asks, are we haven't any videos tonight? Well, of course. In 20 always. minutes time. Oh, wow, gosh, it's, it's 10 past 7 already. Yeah, right. Time flies when you're on the Munda Club. Beep, beep. Now, ben Davis says, Jennifer, what do you think of the Inspired by Titfield Wagon Pack from Rapido? I think it's inspired, my good. It's, it's, it's inspired, inspired, my good fellow. Inspired. <laughs> Why inspired? Whatever do you mean, my good fellow? <laughs> oh, a jewel! Um, oh, how splendid! How do I the... loved that film. It was so ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Good night, Cameron Patterson. It's been great having you. Thanks company. for coming along. Take uh, care. Absolutely. Um, so, so yeah. Anyway, no, we're talking about favourite models. Um, Although Leslie Gilpin Rowan says, won't be able to do the new Wally this year. I'm chairing a local history conference. Oh, that's, that's actually a pretty good thing to be doing. Yeah, that's um, cool. Uh, the Aylesmead project says, I know it's expensive, but I work for Antics down here. We wanted a model, but it was 42 grand up front before oh. Backman Twitch. Three years later, we never saw it, and it was cancelled. Oh, that's a shame. So they, they sat on your 42 grand for three years. A nice bit of interest for them. Um, yeah, surely you could charge them um, interest on the grounds that they frustrated the contract. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Mm. I think something else might have been going on, so let's um, move on with oh. rather speculating. The Aylesmead project, it goes on to say, the company got a nice credit, but a year later, the model came in the Backman Collectors Club. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's naughty. Mm. 247 Train says, Hi Jenny, I've just got back from the Scotland show that happened this weekend and I bought a Class 70 freight line and delivery, but it's very sad to find out that it doesn't work. Oh, that's a shame. Um, one of the things I would say, uh, hopefully you bought it from uh, a vendor that you can make contact with and get that sorted. Uh, but one of my top tips for when you're at a show is take a 9 volt battery. Yep. Because you can, um, basically, a 9-volt battery, and this one's gone flat, so I can't actually show you, um, but the terminals on the top of a 9-volt battery, you can rest the wheels of even an N-gauge model, uh, TT120, um, double O gauge, HO gauge, on the battery, and it will show you whether it works. Um, 
because usually the models are DC. If they've got a DCC decoder in, um, in a lot of instances, they are set to run on DC. So, for example, uh, factory sound fitted models tend to come from the factory able to run on DC. Um, so that's a good way of checking whilst you're at a show. Um, but that is that's always the thing that infuriates you know you get back from a show and find something's defective and have to go through that for lava the other thing to do as well is whilst you're at the show um ask very nicely at um an appropriate layout of the gauge of your choice and see whether they'll test the loco for you knockers lanes has just installed a flashing blue light in my little tardis nice. uh, i do look to fiddle and diddle while watching the show nice and Hanning's Rest Model Railway says, I always carry a 9 volt battery with me to shows. And the, the bonus is, if you get bored, you can lick it. <laughs> no. Don't, I make hello to lick Southern it, don't Train lick the Girl. Southern Train Girl appears to be late. A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they need to. Thanks, Gandalf. Oh, welcome. Where's my biscuits? Um, and Zoe ate them. <laughs> Zoe! <laughs> I didn't. I gave, I, gave, I gave them to a dog. It's called. Oh, yeah. I like this. Sorry, I just. Um, oh, sorry. Madden Steam Rails. I'll read this one first. Madden Steam Rails says, "Good night, all. See you all next week for another great Monday club." You take care. Thank it's you been for coming an along. honor take to have care. your company, and don't forget that you catch up on any bits that you miss uh, at a later date. As for Dootley. but CP Model Railway says the the, the Pearson Crump wagon in the Tipfield inspired pack. Carries the text empty to Margate. Another subtle reference to Hormit. Oh, 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 that is the oh. gift that keeps on giving. Oh, isn't they're, they're really going all in. Yeah. John JMC, our guru of sound, says, I've just put sound in an O gauge 2MT. Of course you have. You're the guru of sound. Um, basically, if you can't put sound in it, nobody can. B2000 RO Toys channel it says Jenny and Zoe. I'm in the process of building my large scale Edward the Blue engine using a James Motor. Excellent. Nice. As Simon Train's mother railway showcase says liquor battery. That's shocking to him. Shocking. <laughs> That's nice. like the opening of Goldfinger where he drops the lamp in the back when yeah. he's he's uh, kicking in a hood and after <laughs> uh, and he just goes shocking. Yes. <laughs> Ah, PBA J Cloth Alan Reynolds, apparently. There we are, yeah. Hello. Good evening, Jenny and Zoe, and all in the chat. I'm just down from the loft as I've been doing more scenery on the cutting, which you My were doing goodness. when I dropped in on your live stream yesterday. But there's lateness here. Lateness. Late, I say. Give me a moment. A Monday clubber is never late to the wagons, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. You're welcome. And we've also got H. Walker Steam Still and Heritage Rail Vids, who says, so am I. They're late as well. And Monday Clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. <laughs> Thanks, Gandalf. And let's make tracks TT120 says, Gandalf, stay away from the co-op. More, no more tomfoolery. <laughs> it wasn't tomfoolery. It was Billy Foolery. All oh, right. <laughs> He was replacing the speakers. Oh, 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 yes, of course. Billy's replacement speakers. Get your own mug here today from the shop down below. We've also got our hoodies, our T-shirts, and um, I don't know what else there is. Is there, is there anything stickers. else? Stickers. I knew there was something else. Um, right. Uh, trains, kits, etc. Has taken or take a mini petrol generator and transformer. Annoy the public by starting it up in the crowds. <laughs> oh, yeah, especially if it's two-stroke. I still want to do cosplay as Thomas the Tank Engine in an event. <laughs> Wamgox says, Jenny, I have a Gronk to sound fit with TXS. Which one should I use? What, which Gronk? Or the which TXS? Well, they've got a Class 08 profile. Um, but the... Um, I think the TT-120 one is designed to take the next 18 decoder. Um, the Hornby 00 gauge one, you can get uh, the um, TXS decoder in that pretty well. Um, there's a lot more space in those because they are natively designed to take the TTS type sound. 
the Batman one, you might struggle unless you're prepared to do a bit of surgery to get the speaker in the cab. Uh, Mark Wilson, who's uh, taking some time off waxing the DeLorean, to tell us Gandalf has an Asbo. Gandalf, did you get an Asbo? Is that what it's called? I thought it was a prize. <laughs> uh, Raymond Legg says, my laptop needs Billy's replacement keys. <coughs> oh. Oh, all the. Are you finished shouting? Uh, <coughs> sorry, just you know when you've, you've got... been redlining the microphone again, you silly, yeah, silly sausage. Yeah, redlining my throat as well. Uh, Sarah Davis says, if you have two stroke in a crowd, you're likely to get arrested. Won't be doing that again anytime soon. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, Richard uh, Grutters, Grutters, Grutters. Uh, sorry, I'm late today. Made a mistake with my lunch choice. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, what kind of a lunch choice will make you late? Unless it's, uh, or maybe it was um, some kind of burrito. And we have the burrito explosion. Ooh. Do you have any snizzers up here? I do, actually, yes. So if you'd like to uh, talk to the nice people, I'll have a look. Yes, uh, uh, I've got to, uh, on the little thing that I'm doing here, I've got to cut out your root number and stick it onto the bag of these. So, Aren't you uh, supposed to, oh, yeah, you're not doing any painting? Don't, don't put the roof on until it's painted. The root numbers. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm doing now. Knock is lame, says my favourite models that I run more than any others. My London Underground 1938 uh, stock tube trains. Excellent. Wamgok says that it's the old Hornby one. Uh, not really investigated then. Uh, and Nick at Bletch the high levels is careful, Jen. That cough will be back soon. Oh, yeah. don't tell me. I've been ill. Non I am still ill. Been constantly ill since She's New sick. Year's Day. Sick and I have twisted. Spent, yeah, I have spent the entirety of 2024 ill. Uh, Melchester Road Railway says perhaps Zoe could quote John Cleese from the film Clockwise. Lateness is a discourtesy to others. The first step to knowing who you are is knowing where you are. And when you are. <laughs> oh, is that the one where he ends up late for his own wedding or something? Um, he's late for a meeting or something. Yeah. 247 Trains says, I just hit a 100 subscribers and I've only been going for three months. That's well pretty done. good. Well done, well done. Um, Climate Chem once says, I put my meagre film of the Hornby HST TT120 on the Facebook pages. Thank you so much. The Monday Club uh, Model Railway with Jenny Coat Facebook group. And he's posted the link. Excellent. Brian Bell says, good evening, all. Good evening. Hello. Um, I've lost my place. Oh, there we are. Spent have. some time at the at a, at a Backman trade meeting last week. Oh, interesting. Was nice. able to look at the new Class 31, uh, first class loco, in particular the auto uncoupler, together with the new Kinesis system. Excellent. Um, unfortunately, they won't deal with YouTubers, because um, presumably because... Certain of the more clickbaity variety have kind of ruined it for everybody, and they go right. No, no more dealing with YouTubers, which unfortunately means even though I'm a journalist, you um, get to which see is it. the same category as what the magazines are in, they won't deal with me. Which yeah. is, um, it, it's, um, it's just how it is, Ben. It's basically like when you get tarred with somebody else's statistic, and it really hurts. Um, Leslie Gilpin Railway says, is it worth sending Jenny my last video to see the train defying gravity? Always, always, we always welcome your videos. And Wangok says, I'm sick to death of being sick. You and me both. Yeah. I'm Raymond Legg says, and spice and, and bean heavy burritos cause you to need Billy's replacement trousers and underwear. <laughs> and George says, I'm not late, honest. And JD1533 Workshop says, Hello all from Queens, New York City. We have two late comers in a row. A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Now get yourself off to the co-op for a bottle of commotion lotion. Away! And rock this boost juice. <laughs> Hey, all you guys who are up for Model Rail Scotland was the local office selling the Rock This Hoose Juice, a.k.a. 2020. No, not... It was Buckfast. 2020. No, it was Buckfast. That was the stuff. <laughs> um, and for, for our overseas viewers, basically, it's it's like hillbilly moonshine. <laughs> it basically is hooch. 
Yeah, it, <laughs> but it's proper. It, it's like like well gone stuff. It's um, they don't call it commotion lotion for nothing. And <laughs> um, yeah, so imagine uh, a banjo playing hillbilly and is still. And if you put a few um, a few herbs and spices in that and make it like distill it down to the consistency of syrup, then you've basically got buckfast. Yeah, what on Simon earth trains was it? And what commotion lotion? No, but... buckfast. Like, <laughs> it it just seems to be weird. It, it was a tonic wine. <laughs> I'm not so sure yeah. about that. <laughs> oh, interesting. Knockers Lanes has many scale Daleks can be found for sale and war gaming figures for sale. Not quite double O, but close enough. Nice. We need some O-gauge ones, preferably in something like white metal for the garden. Yes, we do. John Walter says, are there any model railways in or near Bolton on display to the public? Yes, there are. In the Bolton um, uh, Marketplace shopping centre, yeah. upstairs in what used to be the market hall before powers before that be decided to ruin it, one of the uh, shop units that has been empty forever since they built it because the high street died just as they finished um there is bolton model rail club making use of the space and you can also find the war of the worlds layout there yeah um which is got must go and have a look at it um russell benton says buckfast is high alcohol content wine almost like sherry and trains kits etc says last time i had buckfast i was about 19 and had three bottles and woke up in a house I didn't know, sometimes at some somewhere outside Kakoldi, in a puddle of my own vomit, a youth well spent. I thought you were going to say you woke up in a skip. <laughs> That's the normal location. Yes. <laughs> excuse the. Uh, uh, please excuse my appearance, but I spent last night in a skip. Anyway, <laughs> dearly beloved, we are yeah, gathered yeah. here today. <laughs> And Marcus Muggins says clockwise has some good BR blue and grey era railway scenes. Yeah, and um, funny enough, we were watching Minder. Uh, we've been juice boxing um, that episode by episode. We've been watching the Sweeney, not Minder. I keep confused. It's because it's got what's his face in. He's, he's in, yeah. A uh, Pete Waterman. A uh, Peter. Somebody Waterman. Dennis Waterman. Oh, we get there in the end. But anyway, no, there's an episode Don't of that this. which appears to be filmed in the sidings, the reception sidings at Battersea Power Station. Yeah. And there's some great shots of them running along the top of a loaded coal train comprised of um, MDV and um, uh, MXV wagons. So 16 ton and 21 and a half ton mineral wagons. And it's some really good shots, actually. It's really hard to do this. Hmm. I'm building this uh, rail bus, and I was really looking forward to it. It's so hard. Isn't it? Alan Reynolds of Buckland Junction says, I require a large bag of lichen. Any tips where to buy? Any model shop should carry the um, a range of uh, dyed lichen, but you can just... Um, I'm not saying you should, but theoretically you can just peel it off trees. Um, if you can find a forest where it's got... Um, a bit of moisture um it'll be on the i think it's the the non-sunward side of trees it tends to grow <laughs> mark wilson our waxer of delorean says what pete waterman was in the sweeney yeah he was busy discovering kylie minogue and then the sweeney kicked the door in all right we're the sweeney and we haven't had our lunch <laughs> um, and then he gave him the lunch and they went we're the sweeney thank you <laughs> <laughs> and John Walter says, all right, tell. Actually, Arthur Cole was in an episode of The Sweeney. It was, was, yes. It was really weird to see him and Dennis Waterman stood next to each other, but not in mind. Um, <laughs> Martin Parkinson says, Jenny, are you related to Count Arthur Strong by any chance? <laughs> no, who's that? I don't know. Uh, Jennifer Horton says, I heard a layout at MRS on the weekend had a train of iron broom TTAs. Actually, nice. I'm, one of the things I might, I would, um, I, I've toyed with doing is actually at some point maybe make the Monday Club uh, Commission a tanker wagon and have uh, it as um, a gravy tanker. And then you literally can ride the gravy train. Yeah. Uh, so you heard that here first. If anybody copies that idea, they owe me royalties. 
And Everyone copies Richard, our idea of why. <laughs> yeah, Richard Knowles is our latest Jenny Kirk membership member. Oh, uh, thank thank you. you so much for your support. There's a lot of people um, um, uh, doing stuff in tonight's thing. What's he like here? Oh, Flint Hills Model Railway, Jeff Hammond. Uh, big hello to you. Jacob's Trains. Uh, yes, we are showing bids. Russell we Benton says, I, yes. I had left Blonde once on draft in Belfast. It's pretty strong. So they can't sell you a pint, but they can give you two half pints. Is it Hoe Gardens like that? They give you it in one third of a pint glasses. But you can, nothing stops you from buying three of them and tipping it into the empty pint glass from when you had a pint of oh God, pint of hair there. You have to have special training to pour it. I am not joking. Oh, Steve Ball says Oxford Diecast have just released Terry's White Capri from Minder. Hoo-hoo. Um, right, anyway, we're going to be starting bids. We Actually, are, we need all I've got to do is get, get this... Uh, it's 25 past. I know, but I've got my fingers stuck to a turn. Um, so, just to remind you guys, the Monday Club Wagon, we've just shown a picture of an early production sample on the Facebook page, and also, we did show it here on the stream. Actually, I haven't changed the angle of the dangle for a while, so let's press I the button. no hands free. I don't worry, I'll pick one that works. Ben Tullett says, oh, you could do a train with people thinking and call it a train of thought. But no, it would just be derailed. It would be a higgledy-biggledy everywhere. Um, I, I like the idea of a gravy tanker. But I don't know whether it's too niche of a joke. Um, you know what? This is, despite the bends and the fact that everything's gone messy at times, that is coming together surprisingly well. Yeah, it well. should all pull itself together once the roof goes on. Um, it should be all yeah. right. Right. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. You've yeah. gone silent. No, I know. Raymond Legg says you need. Oh, right. Hold on. Let's get this this on screen. So this Give me is... a second. Oh no, no, no! I pressed the button and you moved the thing. Oh. What are you doing? I'm trying to set up for the. the I'm video showing that you people the to... Monday Club wagon. Right. Okay. I've finished. You're a bugger. You are. I finished showing people the wagon. Just make sure that the thing came up. <laughs> Simon Train's Mother Hour Showcase is TTA wagons with the brand name Troll Tears. <laughs> <laughs> I like that as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like, oh, freshly squeezed Troll Tears. Oh, 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 oh. Does my success vex thee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're a burger. Ah, uh, yeah. You are, you're a burger. A hamburger. <laughs> um, right, anyway, so we're just setting up for the videos. I've got to move stuff out of the way before I can set up. Oh, you're so unprepared. I am. Yes, you are. So, um, <laughs> Alan Downey says, as long as it's Bisto Best. See, it's like troll tears are like, but I also like the idea of having Blobland gravy. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Blobland is from a, a comic strip that we do. I suspect, though, it might be a bit too niche. And the problem with, with joke wagons can be that they fall flat on their face. Yeah, if anyone doesn't you know end the joke. Up, yeah, you end up with 300 wagons that nobody wants. You're like, <laughs> yeah, 300 <laughs> jokes that nobody gets. Yeah, and it's and, like, uh, I'm I, out by eight grand. Yeah, uh, here's the thing. I've been a comedian where <laughs> you say a joke and it doesn't fall, it doesn't land. So yeah. I don't want 300 jokes that don't land. <laughs> yes, at twenty nine ninety five each. <laughs> yes. Because so you have to pay yeah. for them. Shall I, shall I remove the stuff that you've placed on it's my... It's my instructions. It's telling me what to do. You're a burger, you are. Right, come on. Anyway, hurry up and show people's videos. Um... See what I have to put Stevie up with, guys. Films, it seems Wally stepped away from the NEC for other reasons. Then their membership getting too old and no one wants to organise the show. If they're able to now have a show elsewhere. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Because, let's face it, if you're doing it in conjunction with somewhere else, yes. they can take on an awful lot of the stuff that you can't do anymore. There were multiple reasons. Cost was one element of it. Uh, declining numbers as well. Very expensive to put on a show at the NEC. Yes. Um, and I suspect that the shock of losing the show may have spurred some of the members into going, well, actually, no, we'll do it, and yeah. we'll we'll do this. And I think a smaller show, 
for a lot of people might think it's it's Wally going back to its roots. Um, and I think it might be um, a very successful show, especially given how busy Gets got. I think yes. if Wally's on the same weekend at the Stapfold Barn. Now, anybody who's not been to Stapfold Barn, it is an amazing venue in its, it's own so right. Good. So I think that the Wally show might actually do incredibly well at Stapfold Barn. Um, and yes, Don gets model railway. Dealing with the NEC is a lot of work, a lot of hard work. Yeah. Um, whereas Warners have dedicated full time paid staff to doing this. They're used to doing it. Um, they do it all year round for multiple shows. And it may well be. <laughs> it's just a case of pick up the phone. Uh, can we book um, the Wally venue? The, the, not or the NEC hall for this date. Yes. Within 24 hours, they could turn around knowing that they could organise it. All they would actually need to do is provisionally book the hall. Um, yeah. And they could then turn around and say, we're running at the NEC. So anybody thinking like, oh, it's suspicious that Warners could just turn around so no, quickly. No, they've got people that do this no, for a living. Basically, they know they can do it because they've got experience. So it's not, a, you know, they know that if they, as long as they book the hall for that weekend... The show's the show's on. The show can go on. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have yeah. something fun for you now. Mm. Oh my goodness! What? I've just realised if I don't glue these in, I can slide them back and forward. What do you mean? What the windows? The, oh, doors. the doors. Yeah. Did you not realise? No. Right. Uh, sorry, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a uh, video here from Zantag. Mm. He says, uh, I was making a delivery at a place uh, next to a railway line and a Class 66 rolled up. So here we go. <laughs> Alan Reynolds at Buckland Junction says, Like and found. Uh, hold on. Uh, like and found. Um, Gem, this looks 200 real. grams via Etsy for 22 squids. Not bad. And, and yeah, there's, uh, where's it gone? Ben Tullett says, The NEC was getting expensive for both exhibitors and paying public. Also, yeah. the health and safety involved was very strict. Unfortunately, the fun police, the, the clipboard merchants, sometimes get to be a little a, bit, a little bit more zealous. Do you remember that? Do you remember the world before they invented health and safety? People no. used to lose legs and eyes, and and people used to get really quite badly burned. But you know, it was good times. <laughs> I don't remember the world oh, before health and safety. Dominic because Zen. I fell over. Uh, Dominic said, our kickline correspondent, it's great to see you. Hope you're well, not seeing you in for a while. Um, Stephen Cameron says, hi Jenny, Zoe and friends. Everyone Hello. okay? That's implying a degree of lateness. A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely, precisely when, when they, they mean, mean to. to. Thanks, Gandalf. Thanks, Gandalf. Ben Tull, it's a stat fold. Do put some great shows on it. It's a great event location. It really is. I love going Yeah, there. we've been to a few shows there, and it really is good. I like going on good. the charm. I like charms. Mm. But they have a charm. So, other thing from Mark, uh, from Zantac. Progress on the layout. Mm. Lifting the scenic up oh, to create oh, an before, elevated before. area. And Mark Wilson says, at least I won't, I won't have to take a loan out for the car parking at the NEC. That was always a bit <laughs> steep. It's like, what, so I paid to get in, and then you skinned me just for parking it. Yeah. That always felt a bit gouging. 57305 yes, Northern Princess says, Warners wanted, wanted the Warley brand. So I, I don't get it, because Warley's, I mean, I, I know that people associate that show with Warley. I've made the same mistake myself. Um, but I'm guessing it's like, no, you can't have our brand. That's us. That yeah. is. So, so what, we've got what here, have we got here? This is Zantec's uh, new build. He's lifting up the, the base, creating a new embankment with paper. Nice. And he's going to basically have a raised area with a station underneath, which is rather hmm. cool. Oh, um, this is looking good. Mark Wilson says, health and safety was previously known as common sense. To some extent, unfortunately, and as we all know in this world, some people just yeah. can't be trusted. The, the, and they and ruin it for the rest of us. And the problem that I always have is that the moment that you give someone a title that gives them a bit of power, they'll abuse it. So health and safety is wild. Yeah. The majority of it is absolutely right. And then there's someone who comes along who just doesn't want you to do something. Yeah, I always like like um, goose in them. And they go, oh, you can't. You can't do that. Health and safety. I say, well, is it health or is it safety? Can you explain this to me? And they never can. They get really can. irate because they've been challenged. 
So what do you think of this? I'm liking this. Ah. Yeah, of course, you, you don't even have to look sideways now. You can see it on there. You now, can... I'm reading the chat. <laughs> TARDIS in the open wagon. <laughs> yeah, it, it was actually spotted before, and I forgot to move it. So, um... You all right? No. <laughs> 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 so whilst our little resident snot hamper is filling up, oh um, that's goodness. really nice. Um, if you want to click for the next slide, please. I'd really do apologise for this. We I'm get... sorry, I'm choking here. There's, I've got an allergy to something, and I don't know what it is. Uh, Jennifer Horton says, Health and Safety at Work Act 1974 was brought in because nobody could be prosecuted to Aberfan in 1966. Yes. The law didn't recognise negligence. Yeah. GB Railways killed 200 employees in 1938. Now it's one or two. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we, we, we sort of joke and say, oh, wasn't it better? But actually, no, it, wasn't. it never was. The problem was that. Um, Thank you for sending those in, Santa. That's a really lot of the onus was placed on the employee, but then they were given outrageously unsafe conditions, tools, and lack of protective equipment yeah. to do it in. And that was the problem, was that you basically, like all of these things, yes, what was before health and safety common sense? The problem was that an awful lot of people didn't have common sense. And unfortunately, a good deal of them were in the position where they were providing the lack of, um, uh, of safety for the employees. And that, that was op um, often the problem. Yeah, and as a union rep that I used to be, I had to fight for a lot of that because yeah. it was so obnoxious. Anyway, JJ Williams, 1984, says, Evening all, degree of lateness implied. A Monday cover was never late to the wagons, nor are the early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. It says, uh, Evening all, this is JJ Williams, 1984, says, Love my class 25, 33, and then the 08 shunt up. <laughs> oh, hold on, the 47, the 43, the DMU. Absolutely. <laughs> There's so many great months, but I'm with you on the 25 and the uh, uh, the 08. Dominic Zed, our kickline correspondent, says Jenny, Greenlight Collectibles announced two new upcoming diecast models for their Hollywood series. The models are Chelsea's Oldsmobile 98 from Kickline and Jay, Jay, Le Jay Les's Plymouth Fury from Kickline. Nice. Nice. Um, Stevie Film does point out, and it's going back to uh, what we had before, health and safety, says, common sense sadly isn't common. I'd agree with that. You know, it, it really I'm, isn't. I've met people I've worked with. Yeah, yeah and I've it, met people too. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's like, it's like oh, my word. Oh, uh, my thank goodness. you so much. Alan Downing has uh, very kindly donated two pounds and says, buy Zoe some pulls. Oh, thank you. That is incredibly kind of you, donating two pounds on the Super Chat. Uh, next up, we have uh, a message from Lennington Station. Ooh. Hi, Jenny and Zoe. Hello. And all at the Monday Club, here for your consideration, is something for you all to watch, a video I shot and edited while it gets last year. Oh, excellent. So, this is Burnt Island. Oh, I do love Which is Burnt always Island. worth having a look. We did a ride on, going. actually, with a camera wagon on Burnt Island, 1883. <laughs> it is an amazing layout. And when you think, 1883, there is uh, almost no... In fact, I, I would go as far as to say there's pretty much no ready-to-run models suitable. Yeah. So everything here is kit-built or scratch-built, and it is an amazing I model. love it. It's so good. This is uh, such yeah, a yeah. good one. Mm. When you have a, I had a look on Google Earth at Burnt Island now, and whilst the main station building I think is still there, everything else is so different. It's actually, it's really weird to try and trace all of this because I've got every faith that this is accurate to the area yeah. as it would have been eight days. There's so much attention to detail. I can't imagine that this would be inaccurate. It Probably might be yeah. compressed, but it's not inaccurate, um, and it's just. Astounding how different a lot of the area is now. Uh, Burnt Island has grown a lot over the years since Leslie Gilpin. Mm, mm. But look at it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think that building it's pulling into, uh, the building that's in front of that is still there. So you just see there the station front. Um, I found that on Google Earth. But as to everything else, I think the that curving fence is still there, 
not their actual fence, but the um, the property marking, as it were. Apparently, according to Let's Make Tracks TT120, they've got a camera inside the roundhouse now. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's because we showed them our little cube cam. I, they did seem very taken with it. They to did, be honest yeah, with yeah. you, it's a great idea. Mm. But, I mean, this is just an incredible layout. It really is. Yeah. And it's run absolutely prototypically correct as well. Fully working signals and everything. Oh, that is so cool. Mm. Yeah, Don Gets Model Railway says, yes, all this was replaced by a large red bridge that has to be painted continuously. So, essentially, before the fourth, ra fourth um, rail bridge, the stock had to be um, tripped across on the... Um, the actual train ferry. Did wow. we not watch this last year? Uh, last week? It's Burnt Island. Of course we've watched it before. There's only so much you can see of Burnt Island without thinking. Have we seen it before? It's it... always a great... Um, yeah, because we saw that fly shunting. We saw this last week, I'm okay. sure of it. Well, maybe we did. But this is nice. Yeah, I love seeing it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brunty Island, says Flamma Chairman 1. What? I don't. I, 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 I don't get the joke. I'm sorry. I'm told it is pronounced Burnt Island because I, I mistakenly thought it was Burnt Island, but um, it's not in the northeast, so it's actually Burnt Island. <laughs> um. Yeah, Simon Trey's Mother Always Showcase confirms it was on last week. Fair so enough. Well, if it was, it was. Make it full screen. No, I'm I'm setting up. <laughs> so this one's from Lee Holden. Wait, did we see that? We've seen these last week. How can we have seen them last week? Because people sent them in twice. Oh. That's what happens. People go, oh, I haven't seen my video, and they send it again. They go, I haven't seen my video, and they send it again. And we eventually, when we get through the backlog, we end up showing the same video three or four times. Oh. Uh, sorry, guys. Sorry. I, 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 I try not to do oh, that. Said, that's, I was sent on Sunday the 18th of February, so... No, put that one on. That might be a new one. Yeah, I thought it was a new one. You've been a burger. So, yeah, please, 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 people, only send your video once. And at the very we will least, get there. We will get there. The problem is that we do have a backlog, so um, it's not like an instant uh, gratification thing. It won't turn up immediately unless we're particularly um, uh, efficient. Hey, there's a hell of a collection of locos. Look at all them in the middle. Yeah, I like. Ooh, yeah, I like those. Those Metcalf LMS kits. Those twins are, nice. are really nice. I don't actually have one, but they do look nice. Uh, there was a model made by Daypole for Hatton's, but there was also a Backman one as well. So, um, yeah, Burnt Island. Everybody, everybody agrees with me. <laughs> Uh, I was I was corrected. Of course you agree. You, you worked out what it was called by asking them. Yeah, I did. I love those Metcalf kits. They look really good. I love the Tudor-style houses. Really mm. like them. Oh, there's the castle. The castle is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is lovely. That's an... In Jen, what's... Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, oh, no, that's the new one from Rails. I was thinking it was an LMS twin. No, that's the... Um, the 10, 8, uh, one, uh, 10 800, right. which was, is that the gas turbine one? I think that's the gas turbine <laughs> one. That does rather, look nice, actually. Rather snazzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chug, chug, chug. That is quite a, quite a unit. That's the LMS twin. So the liveries match each other. Really, really nice. Yeah. Um, nice. Peter Jackson Cheetah, he says, saw some samples of the 10,000 and 10,001 at Model Rail Scotland. Cool. Um, a, a Backman doing another production run. Um, uh, the little grey cells. Um, they're not working they're as well as they used to, are they? They're telling me that they may have done an announcement. Um, oh, I haven't heard anything. But... Sarah Davis says, I've got a Metcalf factory to build at some point, which will be the home of Larson Biscuits. That's that's the Top that's Gear That's the Top Gear one, yeah. Yes. Which, uh, when they open the door, the L and the N disappear from Larson, and you just get <clears throat> biscuits. Which I thought was hilarious. 
because that's my kind of humour. Because I'm. Not and on the other person. side of the car, it said Peniston Oils, and when you open the door, it just said Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Engage. Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath. It's Engage. Nice. Um, LMS. That, they'll be nice. I like Engage. I quite like this livery. It's um, a bit of an acquired choice. There's not many locomotives made it into the BR Black. There's not many that can really pull it off, is there? Well, no. Um, the LMS twins were in it. Um, Hawk, um, the um, North British demonstrator. Um, then there's all... There's, um, the, L the um, Southern Railway Boosters have got BR black and silver. The Class 08 shunters, 01 shunters, 04 shunters. I think that, uh, oh, and of course Class 10s, 11s and 12s. They're the only ones I can think of that got black in black. Hmm. So that's really nice. Anyway, look, thank you for sharing that yeah. with us. So I, we, I we, really we've got like a lot of videos as well. Oh, Iron Horse Railways has been here for ages. Has he? Oh, yeah. okay, right. Put Gandalf back in the box. Gandalf didn't even come out. He knew. <laughs> Class ninety two models. Say hello to you. Um, Fly my chairman one says I was trying to have a look at the Graham Farish stand, but it was hogged both times I passed. So didn't yeah, see the happens. ten thousand one or the ten thousand. Can get busy, actually, very busy. <laughs> Anfield Road layout and the losses. I like building a Metcalf kit. I do Metcalf build live on my channel. I do love Metcalf kits. They're, there's a lot of character to them. Mmm. So, next up we have, uh, from going to the dogs, some uh, locomotives I just picked up. Okay. Um, so, is this um, a show and tell? Yeah. We can't do the sound. That's it's okay. Bring it up. Double so these grids. are fifty class fifty sixes. The Cavalex ones. Yeah, very very eye catching mm. uh, model. And this is the thing as well. It's like stick it to the click baiters um, who say that the hobby's dying because it's not. We're actually at a point where um, we're running out of unique colours and liveries to differentiate the boxes of different um, manufacturers. I love this layout. This is we see this from time to time. It's for me the bridge. As a scenic feature there, but you don't actually have to model underneath. Um, it works so so well. You do love that style, don't you? It, I think it's just a really really clever way of giving a suggestion that there's stuff above and below. Yes. Uh, without actually needing to model it, so um, it's it's a really really great look. I love all like the weeds and stuff. So this is a really nice model. So that's with the Acura scale PFAs. They are they are really nice. We did a review on those, mm. and they uh, they tested pretty highly. Um, I like the track as well. You've got the correct speed sleeper spacings. We're seeing a bit further down the layout here. Now we only ever tend to see up by the signal box and up to the station platforms. Uh, it's nice to see a little bit more of this layout. Cause it's a nice layout. It is. It's a really well done one. Mm. John JMC, enjoyed. our guru of sound, says I have a time lapse video of me kit bashing the Metcalf kits on my channel. First time I've ever used one. Yeah, I let's like make tracks TT120. Absolutely. Hashtag hobby not dying. Yes. And that's it. We need to go forth, and every time a clickbaiter tries to freeload on our hobby for views, saying how oh, it's doom and gloom, slap them down. You tell them I sent you. No. <laughs> no. Tell oh. them Jenny sent you. Oh, it's that idiot one when he made an upside down train. Calling us clickbaiters. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> you slag. <laughs> uh, mixed Train says, sorry I'm late. Hope you're both well. We are. Monday Clubber is never so you late get the to the wagons. <laughs> nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Gandalf, Gandalf, what's wrong with your voice? Yeah, oh, the, um, the, was the weathering. Can stuff. I just say, shut up, Gandalf. The weathering finish on these TEAs is some of the best that I've seen mm, in model tea. form. Mm, the tea tankers. 
Yeah, the weathered finish is incredible. I like your Budlier as well. You just see it there at the end of the bridge girder. That's, that's really nice. You think the what? Budlier. Don't you know? It's a type of plant, you Wally. It's a joke, Joe. Hmm. You know, that does look good. It's a lovely layout. So much detail here. Really, really fun. Simon Train's model railway showcase has slapped them down. Tell Jenny sent you. Mafia style Jenny. Would that make Jenny the Gronk father? I like that. <laughs> the Gronk mother. It's yeah. the Gronk's mother. Whenever somebody pipes up saying, Oh, the hobby's dying. Oh, it's the end of the world. Oh, the hobby's dead. Oh, oh the price is fine. Just say, Shut it, you schlag. <laughs> the Kirk sends her regards. Yeah. The Gronk mother sends her regards. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted an excuse to go, shut it, you slay! I've been, I've been watching um, the Sweeney too much. Yes, you have. Uh, <laughs> What's the flag, you slag? <laughs> uh, but yeah, Mark Wilson, the waxer of DeLoreans. Nice track work, he says. And that is praise indeed from the, uh, the time travelling Mark Wilson. But yeah, no, the track looks nice. That sleeper spacing really does work. Um, Iron Horse Railway says, I've got a hashtag for you. <laughs> hashtag nothing. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this um, card you've given me is empty. I know. Scary, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, flashing tail lamps. Is that one? Oh, uh, look. Right, um, Zoe. Give me a second. Yeah. I need you to do something for me. You want me to hold it? Hold it at both ends. No, hold yeah. it at both ends. If yeah. you let go, then I can hold it. There we go. Did you not put the doors in? No, the doors were popped. You've got it popped out at one end. On the other side. On the other. Turn oh, oh, around. Turn oh, around. What, you, what, what have you done? This is it's, how you. It's popping out all over the place. This is why I was trying to got do it. it myself. Got it. Is it all back in? Yeah, oh, oh, God, you made a right mess. I have not made a mess of it. You popped it when you told me to hold it and pass it to you. Pop and shut. Right. Good, it's got. This it reminds me of childhood airfix. Bluey fingerprints from everything. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. We'll just paint over. Yeah. <laughs> so, next up from Philip Bowden, he says uh, Jenny and Zoe, a few weeks ago, I reported that uh, my layout had been dismantled and I sent you a picture of it. Yeah. Looking very sorry for itself in bits on the floor the day before a house move. I'm happy to report that I've managed to find a part of the house that is just large enough. To be re for it to be reassembled, oh, so excellent. Naive Gage is back in business. After a bit of decorating, I expect to move it upstairs to a spare bedroom, as the girlfriend does not think much of it. <laughs> oh, oh that, I lounge. think uh, that's a girlfriend that needs changing. No, for no. A... Listen, let me finish what I said. The girlfriend does not think much of it filling half the lounge. You've missed a bit with glue. This I have not. not. Yeah, you have. Just there. See? Fine. No, that one won't work. You need to pass me the liquid glue down there. The little, little this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Liquid folly. Yeah. Tweet, right. tweet. You got right. your birds gone cheap. <laughs> oh, over on Twitter. Uh, after a bit of decorating, we have blah, blah, I can't blah. open that one-handed. In a little while, I hope to have constructed a large insulated shed that will have room for oh, a sizable perfect. extension. Oh. Hey! Perfect. So let's have a look he at what He said extension. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We've got... A very nice looking uh, set of uh, baseboards here, and the, the layout's going to be rather snazzy. Oh, look at that turn and circle you've got there. Looking great. It's reminding me of my dad's new layout, the Scale Extra. Oh, yes. We need to do a night for Scale Extra. Mm -hmm. Well, we just visit him. He doesn't know we're coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're coming. Hi, Dad, at... I want to play Scale Extra. Yeah, we're coming at you through the vents. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really good, actually. I like that. That's it looking rather snazzy. Yes. Thank you very much for sending that in. That is really cool. And I like it. Zoe so will have to call that model June because it's bursting out all over. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a bit of a, it's a bit problematic, isn't it? It is. I think the problem is that the tooling is old. The tooling so is it ancient. Comes, so everything comes out of the tooling a bit deformed. And it's uh, a bit of a, a difficult one to get it all to go together, so... Right, we've got... 
It's five to ten. Ooh, Sorry, my neck. five to nine, even. My goodness. And uh, I have my show to do. And um, what have you got on tonight? An all request Monday. It's all request Monday, so anything goes. <coughs> I'll have to finish that uh, rail bus off next week, but I'm almost there, to be honest with you. I'll probably paint mm. it up during the week and then add the extra bit. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, hi, ladies. Are you still doing video of a branch line gala and heritage running? Okay. Oh, sorry. How are you doing? Not are you still doing? I, I, I got... Uh, Completely, uh, yeah, you always get completely, <laughs> completely confused there. So this is from James Spinks. Yeah, do you not want your lion bar? No, oh, it's white chocolate. That means I get it. Yes. Lovely so this is from James Spinks. Alan Downey says, my girlfriend wasn't impressed with my new hobby until I bought Hogwarts Express and Hogsmeade. <laughs> now she's happy as... As she's Harry Potter, I nearly, nearly read, it, read it, happy as a pig in... <laughs> happy as a pig in Hogsmeade. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that, is that the... That, that looks oh, like that is the beautiful. Rail motor. Is that the... the um, I think that's an O-gauge. No, no, it's an auto coach. Oh, These we, look we saw great. We saw this last week. I we, think we did, actually, yeah. Yeah, but this is this is nice. I do love the Day Polo Gauge Terrier. Really nice. Iron one. Horse will never let me li live down what happened last week. I got a request to do a karaoke night. Yeah, and then you also got a copyright strike uh, as I, well. Oh, it didn't just get a copyright strike. It hit me so hard I fell off the internet. Hey, how? The, the show ended oh, because it it, uh, it blanked it. So I had to start another stream. So yes, we, we we won't be doing Sing Star or any other kind of uh, karaoke. Didn't I say that that was what was going to happen? You're didn't, like, and oh, didn't I say shut it, you slag? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> but yeah, it it was fun. It was fun. But this is really nice. I like this. So yes, it's a it's an anything goes thing. The problem with Sonic Three Iron Horse is that it's not as good as Sonic Two. So why would I play a one that's not as good when I can play a good one? You know. How's it going? Um, I'm kind of bullying it to the right shape, but it's a bit hard. There we go. Have it back. Thank you. So I've pretty much finished this. I'll yeah. paint it up during the week. Mm. And then we'll do a review. I'm really impressed. I do like that Fowler. Yeah, you, we saw this one last, um, last yeah, we week. Yeah, we did. So um, we do have a lot of videos. So I'm going to say... That's all we've got time Let's, for. Oh, now. is it? What time yeah. is it? It's nine o'clock almost. Let me know. So all I've got uh, now is a question for you, Jen. Do we have a sponsor? Yes, we do. Oh, you want me to press the button? Oh, my goodness. The Monday Club is proudly sponsored by TMC, The Model Centre. Check them out at themodelcentre.com. The website features extensive stocks of new models as well as selective pre-owned items where you can track down that bargain you've always wanted. Pre-order with confidence all of the forthcoming models from all the manufacturers. TMC also offer a renumbering and renaming service so you can get the exact identity of locomotive that you want. Why not also check out their value weathering or go for something incredibly special with their bespoke service where you can choose from a more extensive weathered look right through to custom graffiti either off the peg or to a design of your choice. Check out TMC today at themodelcenter.com and start your model journey. Train now departing as the 2058 service to Butts Farting, stopping at Bolton Trinity Road, Grove Street Yard, Minneth Tatis, Tatis Newith. That unnamed layout that Jenny said had a name, but it actually didn't have a name. Eindhoven, Pittsburgh somehow, Buxom Lack, and Butts Farting. That's the 2058 service to Butts Farting. If you go up to the rock today for sure of a big surprise if you go up to the loft today you'll never believe your eyes for every train there ever was has gathered there together because today's the day that jenny does the monday call good night monday club for everyone so come, come on and, and have your some fun and say yum yum and that's a do
I have no idea what the song I'm singing. Well, you don't know, know. that nobody else does. <laughs> so a big thank you, Did everybody, to come. Easy. And also, thank you so much for all the very, very generous donators on the Super Chat and all our new channel members. And uh, tonight's theme was favourite locomotives, although the monkey didn't let me really comment too much on that. Not but certainly, about other stuff. for me, the Gronks. Anything class 08, 09, 10, 11 and 12 and 13. I do like 07 as well. In fact, I like all diesel shunters. I also like X, L and Y Pugs, class 25s, Skinhead, class 24s. And uh, class 28s and 29s, also particular favourite. I like trains! I like, I like trains. lots of trains! <laughs> lots of trains! 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 Yeah, Robert Richard Swiderski, the Duchess, will be getting quite dizzy. Hey, hold on, I can make it go really fast, hold on. Don't oh, make it no. dizzy! Hey, it's the bastard stuff! <laughs> Getting dizzy! I'm dizzy, <laughs> my head is spinning. There we go. Like oh. A whirlpool, it oh. never ends. Oh, my hand's really tired. Clip it is. Yeah, that was that was very energetic on my right hand. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna show off what I've managed to do here. Oh good grief, what have you done now? We're just you're, pr you're supposed to press the button. So I'm just gonna show off what we've managed to do. I have made a bit of a boo-boo. By yeah. um, not pushing the doors in. Or by not painting the inside first. I wasn't planning to paint the inside. <sighs> so there we are. That's come together nicely. But the main bit that I was really impressed with, which I have to paint separately because it needs to be a different colour, is uh, rather snazzy. So mm. yeah. Jay Paul, you've made a really good nice fit here. It was a pleasure to build this. <laughs> Apart from the bits that didn't fit together properly. Oh, come on. There's always little issues. Oh, dearie me. I've got any sound fitted locos on the track. Did you know? Oh yeah, I did actually, yeah. Hold on. You got one with the clowns in it. Um give me a moment. You've had a moment. Right. Anyway, Jen, I'm off ski because I've got to get set up for my show. Yeah, go on, get lost. Oh, bye bye. Beep beep. Check that the camera's working. Yes.
Good night, everyone. Now, we're just coming up to the point where we'd normally hand over to Monday Night Live on Game Hammock Classic Gaming for your retro computer game night and your live stream entertainment continuing for another couple of hours. You don't need to do anything other than click yes on the prompt when it comes up on the screen. But it's been great having your company. Thanks so much for uh, coming and joining us. It's always an honour to have your company here on a Monday night. We always have great fun and uh, today's topic, I know we always stray from the topic, don't we? But certainly um, found out there's a lot of people out there who do like a lot of different locomotives with class 37s, 25s, Gronks of course, A4s, Q1s, Black 5s, all getting a mention to name but a few. But until next time, you guys take great care of yourself. I'm just going to go and check and make sure the Monkey of Madness is ready. And then I'll be handing you over to Game Hammer Classic Gaming. Okay. So I've just had confirmation that uh, Game Hammer Classic Gaming is just about to go live. So... We'll give her a couple of minutes just to get that up and running and then we are going to be oh no ah no we don't want me on screen that wasn't the screen i wanted actually to be honest Woo. there we go So, we're going to be handing you over now to Game Hammer Classic Gaming. All you have to do is click the button when prompted and you'll be moved automatically across. But from everybody here at uh, Game Hammer Cla no, no, this isn't Game Hammer Classic Gaming. From Oh, I'll start again, shall I? Let's pretend like that never didn't happen. From all of us here at Weir Yard, thank you so much for your company. This Monday night, you take great care of yourself and happy modelling and... Uh, we're going to be um, we're going to be ha 